Yep. Well, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. It's a good bass. Not huge, but he's better than what I've caught so far today. I slowed that down. It's a much better bass than what I've caught today so far. And he's in the net safely. I really slowed that jerk down though. Um, just a slow twitch twitch on that one. Yeah, he's a little piggy. Little piggy. Boom, that's that little piggy. Awesome. Now we're gonna get a photo of him. Hey, and there we have it. There's that bass on the greedy guts. Yeah, so I had a challenge. That challenge has kind of gone to the wayside because the bike got pretty slow and I got keyed in on that toga. Quick measure. I'm gonna say 35 to the fork. No, 36 to the fork. So he's 36 to the fork, which is pretty good. We're gonna get back into that because that was fun. I think I've been fishing the jerk bait just a little bit too quick. Cause on that guy, I just really did slow it down. I gave it a couple of real slow and a long pause. So I think what's been going on is I've just been fishing too quickly. Especially now the sun's up. It's water's warm, it's sunny, the fish just want something that they can just sneak up on easily and wallop. If it's still there for a longer period of time, I think that's what'll do it. Shaded bank. Perfect. Perfect. Bit of deep water around this one too. This one's actually not a bad spot. We've got the jerk bait. Good thing about this spot too is where it deepens out, I can use that underspin. Um, try see if there's any fish in that deeper area. All right, we're gonna do a couple of lure changes. Right now over a few lures um, that US challenge I thought I was doing this morning failed a little but that's okay I'm now throwing some more reaction style baits lures um, at the edge hopefully I can find some fish and fish this through them Yep. It's only a little one. Oh, I hate that it catches fish so easy. I really, really. It's actually, yeah, oh, he's alright. I've got a light drag on this, so he's not going overly hard. <sighs> I 
Well, you just can't beat some lures. And the old plastic with a spinner head. This is a Flash J Shard and a Fish Arrow J Spin. And that's the result. A pudgy but cool little bass. Well, see you, mate. Those suspended fish I couldn't get to bite all morning. All I needed was something shiny with a plastic on it. See if there's another one in that school little eat. Yep. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please around that tree. Another school size bass. <laughs> On the flash jay. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I've got to come close to the camera because he's small, but right in the corner of the mouth. Bang, lures out, and the fish is gone. Yep. There's a tree down there that he's currently on. Oh, I'm glad he's not big. Oh no. Oh no. He may have actually done me. I am lucky these are small fish, I tell you what. But another one. And he's absolutely engulfed that. Look at that. Look how far down that is. Boom. <laughs> he's even smaller. But I saw that school. Um, I'd fired him up next to that tree and I thought I'd cast down through him and what do you know? Yep. 
Oh, sick. That was cool. I watched him come out from that tree, that lay down just there and whack that. And he's a slightly better fish too than the little schoolies I've been getting. Ah, oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. Here's that little tanker. He, uh, he ate right on the tree behind us there, which we can't see. But yeah, mid thirties fish, fat, solid, fought hard, love it. The lure, the lure, I, oh yeah, yep. <laughs> He's not as big, I don't think. As I was saying, the lure, I don't have much confidence in, and Quite honestly, I normally just lose them. Um, but it's doing the damage. Hot little, hot little bike here on them. Oh, he's just cocked up on a whole heap of shrimp by the looks of it. got to be one of the fattest, roundest little bass I've caught. <laughs> well, see you mate. Alright. See if in here does anything for us. There's some fish on my sounder. As it's starting to kind of, the bank's tapering out a bit. Um, getting to the point so there might, if I'm lucky, might be some fish on this point. If not, we'll go to spot two, three, four, and five. And uh, hopefully catch a few. Well, spots twos and two and three were taken. Right? So if spot two and three were taken, that means I'm going to spot four, which is this spot here. This turns out it's been a bit of a fail. Came into here thinking I'd find some fish in the same position like I did. But it is barren down there. Oh, yep, there we go. Can't be that big. Boom, hey, it's not too shabby. Boom. Little fatty, oh, that back camera's not on. There we go, little fatty. I'll turn that on now. Ooh, there's a hit. That was a little hit. There we go. Oh, he's all right. Is he? Is he all right? Yeah, he's not too shabby, actually. <laughs> he's not too shabby at all. That's the school he came out of. You can see how active they are now that he's caught. Ah. 
that's the bass there. He's not too bad of a scrapper. Oh yeah, look at that. That sound is going crazy. That's what you want to see. All that good stuff. Wow, they, that's a wild sounder. Oh, well, see you, mate. Let's hope me putting that fish back down doesn't spook these guys. They are going crazy all over. Yep. Didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> Cast out and just let it sink. And won't eventually hate it. All right, Turbo. Another fatty. Another fatty. Oh, and there's a bait they're eating. It's all on the right side of the boat by the looks. Little chunk. I wonder whether an underspin will work. Let's give it a go. Not gonna hurt having a cast with something different. Yep, there we go. On the underspin. A little fatty on the underspin. Boom. It's a little chunk is that one. Sounder is going mental. Alright, see you mate. Yep. <laughs> He'd be that low thirty size fish. Yeah. Thirty two to the fork. Have a look there. He's got that underspin right in the top of his mouth. That is so cool. See you, buddy. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> I don't know if the camera got that, but it literally just knocked slack in the line as the lure was sinking. I knew I had a fish straight away. It just stopped. Not surprised there's fish here. Oh my God. The sounder is lit up like Christmas. Oh, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. He's a very good fish. Oh, yes. Fatties. Yes. He is huge. <laughs> Sick. Ah, beast. Yes. Look at it. Oh, and look at the bony brim it's coughed up. 
Jeez. All right, that's a photo fish. It's time to let this big girl go. Sick. So, the final part of this session, I'm gonna fish in that area I fished last night where I got those topwater eats because that was awesome. So while I'm rolling up to it, round to the area, I'm gonna grab out the J spin and cast in this 12 foot of water because there seems to be the occasional thing on the sounder. Buzzbait's tied on. Let's do it. Whoa. Yeah, I probably won't hit it again. Yep. Yep. It's either a big bass or a toga. I don't know. Just an angry bass. Oh no, he's pretty big. He's pretty big. I forgot how big the lure was. Oh, that's a big buffer. Big buffer. Yeah, nice. Solid fish. Yes. Oh, I was wondering when there'd be one. I was wondering. There we have it, guys. That guy demolished that buzz bait. I can't wait to see the replay of that hit because it was enormous. I'm just going to straight up, we're just going to release him straight away. Say farewell to this guy. Sick. Yes! It's not really the same edge, but it's got weed and wood, which is what the other spot had. Um, so... Let's hope it's got weed, wooden fish. But the good thing is I can fish it to the end and that'll probably be sundown. No idea if this timber will hold similar fish. But I can only give it a go. Yes, it does. Jeez, he's got some go about him. Boom. Another meaty football on the buzz bait. Ah, yes, buzz bait bass. Sorry, buddy. A bit of clara on you now. There he is. A little buzz bait lover. I'm a buzzbait lover, you're a buzzbait lover, we should be buzzbait lovers. Oh. Alright. Last cast. Once this one's in, that's it all over Red Rover. What a session today has been. Um, 
started out as a real struggle, got those two fish early on the underspin uh, off the point, and then pretty much nothing from for a while until I found where the toga was sitting. From there, it was uh, using the good old greedy guts. Um, worked along the, the sunken timber there on the edge um, with just a jerk pause retrieve. The, as the day progressed, I pretty much just used that, um, that greedy guts and I ended up with what, one other bass, I think. Um, ugh, yuck, bit of weed on my face. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it was slow going until I got around that point and bit the bullet and rigged up a, uh, f what was I using? A Flash J Shad in two inch on a one six ounce jig head and a Flash J spin. Working that through schools between kind of 13 and 22 foot of water. Once that died off, as you guys know, it's been pretty close, probably close to this part of the ending, but we worked a few different spots. First couple of spots didn't, didn't avail to anything, but the last spot there where we found that school, those schools of bass, that was awesome. Just throwing, um, I found them with a J spin, but ended up catching majority of them on the, uh, under spin again. And that's, that's just a little Domeki um, and an armor shad that I was using. Um, from there, decided it was time to throw a buzz bait and we did it. We caught some fish on buzz bait, which is awesome. Uh, and that's it guys. That's, that's pretty much the uh, session wrap up in, in long. So if you are wondering where to get any of the gear I use today or about the rods I use or anything, uh, in the description down below, just have a look through. I've got links to where you can buy the, buy the products uh, and get onto ACM if you do want a rod. I uh, have also got the merch link down below and all the social medias apart from YouTube, which is what you're currently watching. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until next time, go out fishing, enjoy yourselves, and it's home time. <laughs>